Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let us continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let us get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the texturing of this particular game asset over here. So let us continue it. So now what I will be doing over here will be assigning some more textures over here. So I will just go into this. So as you can see over here, we do have this separately. Okay. So I can just assign some metal over here. I can just first on and off the materials. So I am just awning and offing this texture IDs over here. So let us see this texture IDs how they are working. Okay, I will just go into this and let us go into the smart material. So I can go into the smart material over here and I will assign a metal over here. So let us go into this and let us just write a metal <coughs> over here. So I will be downloading some more assets for the metal. I will just assign a grunge metal over here. So let us assign a grunge metal for now. So as you can see now, I have assigned a grunge metal. So on to that grunge metal, I will again go into this and I will assign a steel gun metal on top of it. So now you can see how it looks like. This looks much, much better now. After that, if you want to give some rusty look, I can go with this rusty metal and I will assign it on this uh, chimney part over here. So we can assign a rusty metal over here. So I am assigning one smart material on top of it. Okay, this looks much better now. So I have assigned a rusty metal over here for this. Also, we can assign the same rusty metal. I will assign on this as well. So I will assign a rusty metal on top of this. So this is going to look better now. Now I will go into this again. I will take a reference wherever we have some old metal stuff. I can go with that. I do have one grunge. So I can assign a grunge metal over here. So let us assign a grunge metal and top of it I can just add a steel gun metal on top of it and again I will take a black mask and onto the mask I can add a generator and let us add a dirt a bit if needed. I can slightly add a bit of dirt onto this and I can work with this dirt level if required over here. We do have a metal over here. So what I will do, I will just assign one metal on top of it and with that I will assign a grunge over here, let us add a black mask and I will go into this, go into this mask over here and I can let us go into this and let us add a bit of 
moss on top of it so that is going to give you a look in this way if you don't want to add this i can go over here and i can use this rust over here that will give you a good over here look now i'll go down i can go into this and you have this global balance i can uh, increase or decrease it if required you can add it this grunge or else will just add something different over here i can go with this as well this also looks a bit better yeah this looks good so i'll just assign this over here on the grunge metal then if needed i can just slightly variate it if required over here so again i'll go down i'll first save the file over here once so let's just save the file once now what i can do over here is like so once it is done again i'll go down if you want you can add the same metal over here that's your rusty dark metal on top of this as well if needed i can add a rusty dark metal on top of it if required we can just delete the old gun metal so we have already assigned the rusty dark metal only so i'll just undo this i'll just delete this because we have already assigned that only again i'll go down we have so again i'll go into this let's go to the top and for this i can go over here we don't have any kind of a ground over here we do have this ground over here i can add some old ground so first i can uh, if you want you can add some concrete over here i'll add a concrete at the base over here and i can go into this so we have lot of materials for this we do have a grunge as well so i'll go into this i'll just type ground over here and let's add this over here that's a grass dirt ground so as you can see now once we have added this it's going to take time so again i'll go over here i'll just add a black mask over here we can just give the depth over here and we do have a dirt ground as well i can just drag it on the mask 
over here yeah looks much better and if you want to add a ground dirt that as well you can add it okay this can also go with it also you do have a rust ground so whatever is best for you you can use it so if you want to go with this you can go with it in this way you can go into the mask editor and you can make some changes in the texture if required so you do have the tiling over here so we can go with the tiling stuff so we do have some more attributes so we have a height map also a sign metal i don't need it i can just remove this normal maps height so that is going to give you a bit of depth over here so as you can see that all right slightly i'll just reduce it again i can go over here let's go into the metal over here so let's again as you can see we do have a metal over here So again I'll go into this we do have a metal if you want you can first add a color as well for it then later on you can add the element so we do have a steel paint so I can just add a steel paint over here if required so if you want you can even mix the materials and you can create it so instead of this i can just add that machinery and i can change the color of it if required all right okay we'll do the changes so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial